And I feel Alan like this Key. is a uh, Christmas morning, me just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Your childhood all over again. Yes. Oh, uh, Nathan, I got another present. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I get socks on things, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Getfpv.com is where I bought this stuff. Their customer service was really good. Um, I mean, they just kept telling me that it's back ordered, uh, but they were at least responding quickly. So that was good and they were nice about it. All right. So this is the box. Let's crack her open. Nice little suede uh, carrying pouch, it looks like, with their logo on there. That's pretty nice. Some stickers. So this is the pro version of the Tango 2, so I think these stickers are a bonus. I'm not a huge fan of stickers, but kind of cool that it came with it. Um, oh, this is a little keychain that it came with. Let's see if I have an extra pair of keys to throw that on. Maybe my bike clock. And then this looks like it lifts out, which I appreciate. These are an I feel Alan like this Key. is a uh, Christmas morning, me just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Your childhood all over again. Yes. Oh, uh, Nathan, I got another present. <laughs> oh, when I get socks on things, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So these are two packets of, uh, looks like some replacement parts, possibly. A throttle limitation screws. So maybe if you want to switch it from mode two to mode one, that's my guess. I don't actually know. Uh, but the controller, and then that's empty. That. All right, so this is the controller. It actually comes with another pouch, so I don't know why I need two, but I'll take it. And then here she is. There we go. So, it feels a lot heftier, that's for sure. Oh, these are way stronger. My thumbs are going to get a workout using these gimbals. Um, but the size is very very similar i'm surprised that it's as small as it is i would thought it would have been a little bit bigger show the back of that actually controller. pretty big did you get it with that extra piece on the back uh so that's what these two boxes are so i have to actually install this oh so the way okay. that it is right now it's just for crossfires drones i got um, you or drones with a crossfire transmitter on them um, which my newbie B, um, the Acro B doesn't actually have crossfire. So I can't use it with it, uh, like out of the box basically. So I'll have to use this, uh, multi-protocol module, um, and hook this up so we can open this thing. Let me just cut this real quick. The improvements from like one to two were not like crazy significant, like a louder speaker. I think the screen's a little bit better. Um, I think the software is updated to be a little bit nicer, but I think like build quality, it might have been not USB-C before, which this is USB-C now. Um, so there's like a couple little things, um, but I think overall is about the same. Just because this is the only other controller I have to compare it to, um, the gimbals feel way stronger. Like, I don't know if you can hear the difference or if that's a good way to like test it, but the fact that it's going to snap back uh, a lot easier and give me more like tension I think will be able to make smaller movements uh, and kind of know where this gimbal is at compared to this one which kind of floats around um, so that's something that I'm excited to see how that's going to change things then we've got some buttons are any of those okay. gimbal adjustable like that spring tension or anything I think so I think you actually have to crack it open though um to do any of that stuff i don't know about the actual tension that might just be what it is um but like kind of the range that you have access to i think you can change but yeah so this is the protocol that i needed um to fly with the newbie drone this thing by itself i think it was like 50 dollars, which is basically the price of the old controller that i have but i think that the tiny whoops are going to be something that i'm going to continue flying with so I wanted to be able to get this little module to go on there. I could have 3D printed this little door here, um, but there's just some very small things um, that you'd have to print. So I think I'll still try this out just to test my skills, but I'm glad to actually have the piece in my hand. And this was only like five bucks or something. So completely worth it. So this should just slide in here. So that is the controller unboxing.
This goes in there somewhere. I don't want to break anything on stream. So we'll move all this to the side. <laughs> That'll make a better video for me. <laughs> if you guys like this video and want to learn more about drones, you can check out some more content that we'll have for you here. Or if you want to see the type of gear that I have and possibly get a free little freebie from me, you can check the description down below. But until the next show, I'll see you guys around. Thank you so much.